even. Uh, right. But now since both these characters have been given just enough juice to make it back to the top, uh, well, not the top, but at least like the mid-tier area, we're going to see this matchup play out in Ultimate at a high level for the first time, or at least I am. So I'm excited. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, you know, I, both of these characters actually uh, getting a lot of blessings in terms of buffs from the from the last patch. Beautiful combo coming out from Mist. Double up B into the aerial barrage there. Ooh. And uh, I, I love that Diddy's dash attack actually combos in this game. It combos into every, and they brought it like back to like Brawl status. Yeah, anything. yeah, it's it's really, oh, the banana stopping the combo. Do you think he has the infinite? Yeah, I was actually about to bring that up. Mm. Because that's out. actually a really big deal because I feel like um, there's like, oh, dang, we hanging on the ledge though, we good. But it, it's a very easy situation to set up. Like, you just need to get a banana slip on the platform yeah. to set up for the infinite. The actual infinite is pretty hard. The inf yeah, the infinite itself is very hard. It yeah. takes a, you have to be reversed through the platform to pluck the banana to keep it going. And you also have to air dodge catch it, or you have to like Z air catch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like air dodge catch, is so, throw down. so laggy that if you're wrong on it, you just have to drop the infinite entirely. So yeah. it is hard. Shout out to Dakpo. Oh yeah, I just watched this guy. Shout out to you, Dakpo. Thank you so much. I'm gonna learn a bunch. Yeah, and he's been sticking with Diddy, like, even before oh, yeah. Diddy had the buff, so. Yeah, he's been sick. Taking a lot of big wins in the way. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, exactly. Good idea, using the lingering up air to try to catch him out of that side B, but oh, he was able to make it through. Still alive, 8 bit man. Down to Max up Rage, yep, there it is. Uh, that is still a confirm, a the, Smash 4 classic. Yep. Ooh, into the barrels. Ooh, By the way, if people 36. don't know, A, barrels do a ton of damage. B, oh, yeah. barrels are insane because you can actually control them now. So when Diddy is hit out of his barrels, you have full control over where they're going to go. You can actually set up your own like crazy uh, shield pressure situations. Either way, that back air is going to come through, even from center stage. No DI could have saved you from that one. Uh, sweet spot on that is still like really good for her. Ooh, double wish was nice. Yeah. And taking the banana from him, too. Miss knows that 8-Bit Man knows the, the, the SDI or DI. Oh, no. Wait, do you still have the triple? Yep. Okay, so got the triple. But this is going to be a punish. There was uh, so much after lag after making that recovery. Oh, but ABK is going to come through. Oh, up B out of shield, still proving to be a very, very great option out of shield. Yeah, starting from the platform too, no less. Down tilt. Oh, try to get him with the double down tilt. There, yep. That's the thing too. Now there's a percent window where you can actually chain down tilts together. You can either get for uh, the up smash like we just saw, yeah. or you can even chain them and like walk them off and go for the forward air. So 8 Man has uh, definitely been uh, really proficient with this character. He's got a lot of his new strings already ready. Oh yeah, for sure. Here comes Miss though. Up tilt into the, or forward tilt into the juggle situation, but Miss not gonna, Get him there. Smart stuff. Just walling him out with that forward air. Got Banana going high, too. Uh, one classic thing in that matchup is you would have Banana high, and it would prevent her from, like, ABKing, or at least slow it down a little bit. And we're definitely seeing Ape Man try to try that as best as he can. Beautiful Either way, carry. missed. Great movement and great options. Ooh. Oh. Wow. It was so fast that Mist actually couldn't get the conversion to follow after the witch time. You see his face in the jetpack, too? He was like, no, please. It's like, <laughs> get me out. Get me out. He was so stressed out. Ooh, another forward air. Wow. Another forward air. Yeah, he's really just. This is really looking like Smash 4, Diddy. And, uh, <laughs> and another really forward air. <laughs> and, and, and honestly, the range of that move has been neutered like really hard. Oh, oh four, five. yo! So many! What? That was godlike! Dash, down tilt. That, dash, down tilt, dash, down tilt. <laughs> that was godlike. That was so good. That was like, he started that at like the. Biggest percent window he possibly could, and then after he conditions him with like all those down tilts, Miss is like, I gotta go somewhere else. He's like, Oh, cool, you made an option, and then runs back for the F smash React, for the yeah. kill. That was crazy. Yeah, that was really, really good. And man, just like the the lockdown, just like really nowhere Miss could go. I feel. Yeah, there really wasn't. And Ape Man just completely capitalizing on that and taking that game number one. I'm honestly kind of wondering if maybe like uh, a Bats Within or even like a Witch Time could have like saved him from that, but I, I don't know. All right, now he's going to rob. So okay. maybe he's just going to like pick the character based on like what stage he's starting on. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, but it it might have been a stage thing. It might have been just like, F it, I'm, I'm trying rob. I don't know. Right. <laughs> but it definitely seemed like it uh, went well that first game. Yeah, so the, let's the Diddy pick was pretty convincing. Yeah. I mean, it was last stock, right? But yeah. it, it was like low percent last stock. Specifically stalk. that last string, for sure. Oh, dang. All right. But, That's uh, when you know you haven't played Ultimate Veil. Right, when, yeah. when they heel slide you, and then like it's a, like a fox thing where you drop your shield, try to like punish the other side. It's like, nah, she's right there, man. Yep. She's, she's right there. Oof. Just tagging them with these gyros right now. And even a little bit of laser to boot. Yeah, can Mist get in? That is the question. I love the up air into the grab. That was so smooth coming yeah, out from Mist. I don't, I don't think I've seen a lot of people go for that in this game. 
Yeah, it, it, I mean, I feel like it probably only works on like some of these bigger characters. Mm -hmm. Trying to get some off the down throw here. Ape Man. Now he's gonna trap with the ledge. Oh, big damage should be coming out here for Miss. This could be it. Nah, okay, nah. no, not quite. Yeah, that's just, Whoa. That's just never killing. <laughs> like, I, I feel like if you, when you just DI down and away from forward air, like it just never kills, I feel. Very good to know also. Smackaroo though, forward air on that extended platform. Ape Man taking the lead. <laughs> Threw the gyro up, trying to get something set up. He's just like, nah, I don't have to actually respect this move at all. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Ooh, nice parry. parry. Yeah. That's something that is a big game changer when you're fighting Rob. Oh no, wait, do you have the triple? Oh. You don't no, unfortunate. Yeah, that's gonna make the lead huge now for A Bit Man. Gyro's there. Let's see what the setup is. Alright, I think he just had it just in case Miss shows something crazy. Oh, oh nice. I like the weight with that double jump. Great awareness of your character to know that like you can't necessarily get that at that window. Right. Smart play. Man, oh, it's spares. Oh, and the side B, okay. ABK saving Miss Life. I think that actually would have killed. I love that punish out of shield from Miss, the uh, the jump ABK, because Ape Man went so far away, but Miss was still able to get that punish. But Miss got to take this stock soon because yeah. this, this this is looking oh Whoa. very very lucky for Miss that uh, Miss got Don't to do the it right. To oh him. man! Now here's the thing, Miss is a player that like flexes a lot when he plays, but there's a lot of people that have been like trying to flex on Mix Miss like all throughout the bracket. Yeah. So yeah. now Miss is gonna be like super alive, just like you you're not gonna outshine me, bro. Yeah, exactly. Of course, it's still a crazy deficit, especially considering how early he lost that second stock in that SD. So I don't exactly know what we can uh, see here as a change. Oh, wait. Wow, forward smash. Not getting hit by the sweet spot, though. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like Miss can definitely make the comeback in terms of damage because Bayo is just so strong at that. Right. But I really want to see how Bayo is going to, you know, really seal out these stocks. And especially, like, seal out stocks without really getting hit by any of 8-Bit Man's setups or, like, just kill moves. Yeah, he's got just such a good wall set up. Even when the gyro didn't come through, he threw out those two retreating fares. Yeah, Ooh, he up smash. smash. Yep. Right, right there, no chance for Bayo to live. The up smash will seal it out for 8-Bit Man. And now up 2-0 here in Winner's Finals, 8-Bit Man versus Mysterica. Yeah, he's playing really well, and uh, with both characters, no less. Oh, yeah, and... I mean, right, right now we're seeing the showdown, right? Indiana versus South Florida. Right, right. Ape Man looking uh, Florida very focused. Florida looking strong right now. Oh, oh yeah. Well, now, I do kind of wonder. Florida is such a strong region in general. I like, kind of wonder if we might see uh, the Zelda or the Peach come out, because Miz does have characters outside of Bayo. Um, and it just seems like Bayo hasn't necessarily like done what Miz wants. Like, he's just getting, yeah, there's the Zelda. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen Miz play Zelda. Super crazy stuff, like super talented. Oh like, yeah, I, I've definitely seen it. Miss. All kinds of wild lightning kicks, really interesting setups. And honestly, it might be an even more unfamiliar matchup for Ape Man. I'm not sure how much Zelda reference down there. Yeah, uh, definitely um, a character that we don't see too much in like very super top level of play. Right. Um, but definitely a character, and I've seen Mist play Zelda before. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, definitely one of the best Zeldas. Oh, easily. Yeah, easily. very easily. Yeah. I think Mist and uh, Ben are the two main ones that you see uh, making waves with these big tourneys. Yeah. Like right now. And I've, and we've seen them even like crack top 32 at oh. some some of these really big tournaments. Mm -hmm. So. Definitely, we'll see what the, I mean, pretty much kind of like two setup-ish base characters. Zelda, definitely a character that wants to set up the Phantom, and Rob, of course, setting up the Gyro. Now, on the subject of Phantom, uh, he is doing a really good job of just kind of ignoring Phantom with uh, Laser. As you're seeing right there, see what I mean? Like, yeah. he is really shutting her out of that option entirely. Oh! So yeah, and right there, Mysterica was able to actually run through Ape Man because Ape Man was still in the normal getup animation. Like... Oh wait, up air, really so good. Platform though. Yeah, he is able to. Maybe this Can is the reason he stayed Bayo because like uh, these projectiles have not have just completely ignored Knight the entire match. Yeah, because the thing about uh, Zelda Phantom is you need. Oh, and Ooh. there's the dog. Yeah, Zelda. If Zelda gets hit, the Phantom just breaks. Right. So because Ape Man has like a burst like range option, while Zelda is charging up the uh, Phantom. He, just able to shut it out. Whoa. Look at that stock! That was ridiculous! No way! The nice into neutral air and then a dim spire? Dang! Right now, Zelda's showing off the whole arsenal. Oh, I like that. He tried to get out of that situation with a neutral beat, but Rob's side beat just last so long, it made it through the end ball, and he was still able to keep the pressure up. 
Wow, and Mysterica is still keeping this pressure up in the corner. Wow, the lingering up tilt Yo. comboing into the, the into the kicks. Yeah, that was sick. And that everybody loves lightning kicks. Though. Right. Ooh, Zelda's getting. I mean, Mysterica's getting a ton of mileage out of this up B too. He's not even like. He's not even like going for any like crazy baits. He's just knowing where Ape Man is gonna go and is just like trapping him with it. Oh yeah, on, for sure. At this point, almost every part of the stage, <gasps> lightning kick almost came Uppy? through. Okay, oh, man. Uppy out of shield is an option for Zelda. Oh, it's so good. It, it is very, very good. And wow, that almost <laughs> that Dim's fire almost got got Ape Man. That was really smart. Delaying his recovery as long as he could and poking him through the stage of that upper to get back to the ledge. Point again. Another charge. Yeah, definitely um, Zelda wants to get one of these throws, and a, a smash attack will also do it here. Up air. Yep. Yeah. Ape Man scooping Zelda right out of the ground there. All right, Stocks even so much pressure. Knight on one side, S-Smash on the yeah. other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, uh, <laughs> Zelda up being in place actually baited Ape Man to go for the directional air. That was so funny. Landing on the stage when there was a really smart option. Didn't have to eat those ledge trap situations. I've seen Ape Man do that a lot, actually. Uh, Ape Man was trying to play Rob. Keep that in mind. Wow, Zelda up throw actually almost taking it there. Yeah, I'm surprised it didn't. I feel like I remember in like the demo, her up her up throw was like crazy strong, and I, I yeah. don't know if it got toned down before release, but hashtag Zelda nerf, dude. What the heck? <laughs> Whoa, no way. is that gonna do it? That is that gonna do it. it. Wow, yep. really smart neutral air into the side B, especially on a stage like Smash Bros too, because the horizontal blast zones are so close. There are like so many said. things that were lined up for Ape Man there, like you said, Smashville being one of them. Mm -hmm. Pretty much Max Rage, and then a setup into it as well, the Nair into like getting the side B right next to the edge and then the side B carrying you even closer so to the blast. Further, it, it's, right. it's so, so good. But it's one of those things where like now after the first two games with Bayo, it definitely seems like with Zelda, it was like so close and so doable 